Hey guys, it's Friday today. Um, not sure exactly what day, but I'll put it on the screen. I just wanted to get up here really quick and talk about the Glorilla 50-50 debate. You know, I'm like late to the party like I always am. Um, so if you guys haven't heard, it was just like Glorilla talking about how she feels like women should go 50-50 with their man in a relationship. Basically, like if you let a man take care of you and pay for everything, it's gonna make you like lazy and like you should want to, you know, do for yourself and like he can always leave you, you can have nothing. And she was just saying like, it should be like a team effort type situation. And like a bunch of people started speaking up about it or like chiming in, people were, some people were, um, agreeing with what she said some people were like saying the opposite of what she said and i was just gonna say my little two cents um basically i understand what she's saying for sure you know having your own is definitely important in life um the only thing for me when it comes to like 50 50 i don't think anything is really 50 50 uh, most of the time in relationships and especially when it's talk we're talking about money because maybe like it makes logical sense if you're both making the same amount of money but like if you're really splitting the bills down like splitting the bills in half with your partner so say all you guys is bills all of them together you're splitting them down to the cent um if one person makes more than the other i don't feel like that's really kind of fair like if i'm making thirty thousand a year and my husband's making one hundred fifty thousand a year and we're splitting all the bills down like i probably won't have much left over after i give up my half whereas he might have a lot left over i don't know it just doesn't for me maybe if you're both making the same exact amount of money fine i'm talking about finances here maybe that sounds like maybe logical but I just feel like it doesn't really seem very logical. I don't know anybody or of any relationship. Of course, I don't know that many people, but people who have done that, like split everything 50-50. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I feel about that. But I totally understand what she was saying, especially about, you know, if he leaves you, you can have nothing. Because speaking for myself, um, I am a stay-at-home mom and my husband does have the income. So yes, in reality, and a thousand people have told me, if he leaves me, I will have nothing. I definitely understand that. Um, it's it's reality. That's what it is. And I feel like it is a little different when it comes to kids. And that's what Glorilla was saying. She's like, I can't speak on kids because I don't know about it. But for me, like, it's just really important for me to, like, before my kids go to school, I just want to be the one to take care of them because it's only a few years. Like, your kids are going to be in school. For a long time um and so those first little five years first of all they fly by really quick and i just like i don't trust anybody so to watch my child and i have a choice as well so some people i understand they do not have a choice they have to put their child in daycare child care whatever they don't have a choice but um and some people do have choices they'll do it but for me i was blessed enough to have a choice and I chose to stay home with my kids like I just first of all the baby stage is my favorite like this when they're small it's my favorite stage and also um it's just I think it's just I just love those years and I just cherish them so much because they go by so fast like they grow up super quick and they'll be in school all their life so if I don't have to put them in like a school before they go to school that's just like what I choose to do but I totally understand the sense of you know you want to have your own and all this other stuff um and then speaking on daycares like i worked at a daycare for a little bit and they asked like oh do you want to bring your son here and i was like no so i also got experience working there and seeing how everything kind of works and uh i didn't want to put wouldn't want to put my kids there um if i didn't have to and so that's another thing that's another video but anyway i just wanted to know how you guys felt about the whole 50 50 do you agree that you should split everything 50 50 with your partner um not just finances like it's chores cooking everything uh 
split it with your partner or I feel like it varies I just feel like you have to do what's best for your relationship that's like the main thing whatever you two agree on and it works for you guys that's what it is like that's what I think the really the big biggest thing is do what works best for your relationship um but also like if a man wants to pay all of my bills and I have my own money like let him do so like I just feel like of course there's people who are like no like I'm gonna pay for my own stuff but if you have your own money and your man wants to take care of you and pay for everything and you can save your money or invest it or buy if you know you still do stuff for him and yourself but like I think that's cool I don't see nothing wrong with that um but yeah comment below what you guys think how do you guys feel about that whole 50 50 debate situation but yeah i think that's it for today guys i'll see you another day